Yeah, definitely. I think when you're standing at the back and you're watching that unfold where we had a lot of chances, obviously the penalty and so many more chances, we deserve to win. Um, that's what we feel. We feel a little bit robbed, but um, encouraged by the performance. I thought we passed it very well. Um, I thought there were some strong performances in the midfield. Um, Andy Burgess, Ollie Hodgkiss going forward defensively. I thought we were really good. Um, and there's a lot to take from it. Yeah, we didn't win, but as you can all see, we deserve to win. Um, obviously, we'll do some work in the week on on that. We just um, touched on it, but um, yeah, we're pleased with the performance. I was going to say it's, it's easy to just look at the penalty that was missed, but the number of other opportunities you had. Oh yeah, a, oh, yeah. a fantastic effort from everyone to create that many opportunities. Yeah, uh, fantastic. I mean, from what the boys have said, I think it was pretty similar um, away at Grays. But um, I mean, Duff's has been immense from the penalty spot, so no one's going. To criticise him for his penalties. Um, he was bound to miss one at some point. Today he came, and, and we had plenty of other opportunities as well. So no one's going to blame anyone. Um, it's just the way it went today. Um, and on another day, we could have probably had five or six. Is the feeling in that dressing room right now? Is it's just one of those days where nothing, nothing did well, not didn't go right, but you just couldn't cross that line. Oh well, yeah, it was, just, it was very frustrating for us. Um, but. Like I say, the encouraging thing is we played very well, we played some good football, the amount of chances we created is fantastic um, and we've got to build on that and that performance really more than anything. Talking about the collective performance, how about your performance though? What, what, what do you think of that? Um, well, obviously, um, like I've said, um, coming here, uh, centre-back's where I prefer playing these days, uh, so I was happy enough to, to slot in there. Um, with Garns being out suspended, um, it was a, been a bit of a weird week for me with getting injured and doing my ankle on Tuesday and I had a late fitness test and an injection. Um, late on, um, so it was a little bit. Um, didn't know whether I was going to get through the game, but um, felt fine um, and enjoy, enjoyed playing there. You know, one pleasing aspect from the defensive point of view is that that was a clean sheet today. Yeah, that's what we've been saying. Um, it's a back four throughout the game, um, and I mean it, it's one of those games as well where it's. I mean, you saw nearly at the end they they nearly got in. It's one of those games where you see all those chances and how many times have you seen it where the other team go and score. So it was important that we kept a discipline there um, and kept a clean sheet. You know. And what about your well, your partner in not in central defence, but Gary Silk at right back? A fantastic performance from yeah, him today. His sponsors so. gave him man of the match. Yeah, I think Silk is um, he's, he's a consistent performer. Um, he's very steady, and second half um, he was getting forward quite regularly and put some really good balls in. Uh, and like I say, on another day he probably had a couple of assists. Putting putting the next uh, FA Trophy game aside, Tamworth, it's Wrexham next in the league. 41 points tonight for Mansfield. Is that about where you want to be at this time of the year, going into a busy Christmas period? Well, I think if you'd have asked us that a few games back, we'd have, we'd have probably said a few more, because we've um, dropped what I like today. Um, as much as, again, it's a good performance, we have dropped two points. Um, so we'd, we'd want to be getting three points out of this game. You look at Eastbourne at home and, and Ebbsfleet away. Um, so in recent weeks, we'd have probably set a higher target, but um, we're in the mix, we're, in, we're fifth in the league. Um, we've got a good, strong squad of players. I mean, you've you only got to look at the players that are not involved um, and, and not even in the 16 to, to know what a good, strong squad we've got. Um, so I think we're in a good position to push on. Thanks. Cheers. All right, cheers. Hey, I'm just going to ask you, I mean, obviously... It's sort of four games now without a win at home. You actually played pretty well today, and, oh, yeah. and in some of those other games, what what do you think you've got to do to kind of break down these sides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I think pack, pack men behind the ball. Well, I think today, I think we did break yeah. them down today. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah that's it's not. True, yeah. It's been a problem. Probably you look at recent games, uh, maybe the Eastbourne game and yeah. uh, the Forest Green game. We probably didn't play as good a football, and I think yeah. probably with having um, Burged, um, Andy Burgess in there and Ollie Hodgkiss, that gives us a little bit more football in there. Yeah, um, yeah. and that was probably a feature of our play today. We played some good football, yeah. um, got the ball down, um, played well um, yeah. and like I say it's just a finishing touch. I think deep down I'll be disappointed like the rest of us because we'll see it as uh, three points missed out on because we're all so passionate. But, uh, I think he's happy with that. I think he'd be disappointed if the chances weren't being created. Um, but like I say there's stuff there to work on. Just need to keep going. Now as a front man those days must really infuriate you personally. <coughs> Massively, yeah, and it, it's, it's been a tough week for me to be honest because uh, I don't know if you know, but I pulled my thigh the other week and I've, I've had painkillers up to my eyeballs all week and I had an injection before the game and uh, I've been playing at 70 80%. But the gaffer said to me, Go out there, do a job, do what you can, be the big man, hold it up. And, and that's what I've done. So on a, on a personal note, you know, I'm, I'm happy to, to be out there really. But uh, yeah, we just need to stick at it. You looked a lot, shall we say, freer today than you did maybe at Gateshead midweek. Were you in a lot of pain at, up, up there? Was he in a lot of pain at Gateshead? Yes. Like I, like I said, the drugs out yeah. before the game. But yeah, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain now as well. I was ill before the game. Uh, but like I said, that's, that's how much I want to play. <laughs>
that sandwich I want to play and, and, and be out there. See you later, and a word about your strike final Rob Duffy. Obviously the penalty miss will grab the headlines tomorrow morning. But there were other other points of his game which, which he did well, and he was looking to not to score another occasion. Well, it's going to come. He's going to miss one at some point, and uh, unfortunately, it was today in a, in a nil-nil game. But you know, the, the partnership's coming on leaps and bounds, and uh, we enjoy playing with each other. And you don't see that from two six-foot three players, do you? We're getting a partnership. But yeah, it's, it's coming on. Is that, that a nice feeling that the partnership's growing even more as, as you go into the Christmas period and looking into the second half of the season? I think so. Uh, I think we're growing as friends off the pitch as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've, this is a period we're looking forward to now because you know it takes you away from the crowd. Looking looking ahead now, it's the FA Trophy next week for Mansfield. Is that a break from the league for you, or is it, or do you just want to keep playing league games and try and get as many points on the board as you can at the minute? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a break. Now we're uh, <laughs> echoes leave blue faces there. I wouldn't say it's a break because uh, we want to win every single game and. Uh, was disappointed to be out the FA Cup the way we did, and I think the FA Trophy is a way to uh, recapture that glory. And you know, I, I think everybody here wants to get to that Wembley trip. You know, Gary Mills did it last season, so hopefully we can recapture that and uh, take them wins onto the league. Putting the FA Trophy aside, though, the next league game will be Wrexham. Yeah. Looking ahead to that game, do you know much about Wrexham? Or what, what, what's the feeling? Or is it just too far ahead to start thinking about that? It's too far ahead. Uh, take every game as it comes, really. But like I say, three points is there to be taken. Cheers, as always. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, you alright, mate? How are you? Yeah, not bad, thanks. I mean, bits. What are your thoughts on today? Bits and pieces. It's, yeah. Uh, could have gone either way, couldn't yeah. it? We, we could have got the win. Everyone yeah. come away smiling. Or no more no joy, you know. We, like I just said, we created enough opportunities, creating the chances, but we just, we just yeah. couldn't put it in the back of the net. And yeah. their keepers made a few good saves and other yeah. days to go in. Yeah, I, sp I suppose the fact that you know the fans still applauded you, you know, at the end kind of told the story, really, didn't it? Yeah, it means a lot. The, the work rate was there, you know. We'd, we we wasn't falling down, so to speak. I mean, we didn't not turn up. Yeah. So, other days to go in. Unfortunate for Duffy not to get his penalty, but yeah. it's going to happen sooner or later. Yeah. 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 And a frustrating day for yourself. You had a couple of opportunities to guess the most of the lads did, didn't yeah. you? Just, he yeah. was just doing that big man role, to be honest, for me. Yeah. I was going to end up laying it off. Uh, frustrating. I've had frustrating times recently with my uh, yeah. with my leg. I'm, I'm still not 100%. And, uh, yeah. I tweaked it again at the end there, so I think it's going to be a, a, a week on the injury bed for me. Yeah. But, uh, last week, something fighting that pain barrier, really. Yeah. Yeah. Think, of, think of it the wall now. <laughs> is that something you, you've come across before much in your career, mate, in terms of playing through, through injuries? injuries. Yeah, yeah, and this has been a big injury on me, to be yeah. honest. Uh, yeah. Drop my hand off the small list of quads yeah. as well, so you know, <laughs> it's not the yeah. easiest thing to deal with. But yeah. the physio has been fa fantastic all week. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't have played against Gateshead, really, but uh, yeah. what he did with me was fantastic. So yeah. I've, put, I've had two two games now, hopefully, I'm looking forward to a week of resting. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cheers mate. Cheers. Nice to be David mate.